Okay, this is my Royal Model 157 hand vac. I got this off eBay probably about a year ago, maybe a little more. I know I've had it for at least a good majority of 2018. By the way, Happy New Year, it's January 1st is when I'm recording this. I might upload this today, I might upload it tomorrow. I don't know, but today's January 1st, so Happy New Year. Bag's a little faded. Uh, from my understanding, the 157 was made between 1937 and 1954, if I remember correctly. I believe the styling of the bag also indicated roughly a time period when they were made. Because I've seen other 157s that had different bag designs on them. This little door actually does come off. There were um, attach there are attachments for this, and I think you can still buy them. It comes with a little short hose, what you would do, and a couple other typical vacuum attachments. But what you do is you take this off, pop the belt off, and the hose would slide all the way in to this back plate. Uh, this is all metal. Uh, obviously, the belt isn't. That fan is cast aluminum. And definitely well built. I'll take the bag off and show you the um, information on the back of the motor. It has some stuff printed down here on the bottom. It would be nice if I made that right side up for the camera. But it's not in the greatest shape, and I think most of the stuff that's here is the same stuff that's on the back of the motor. Uh, that's what it looks. Some of this is legible, some of it isn't. Um, I can just make out that it was made in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's a Model 157. There's the brush wheel. That's the brush wheel that I was on it when I got it. It's actually in not in terrible shape. I do use this on the steps and on chairs and the couch. Uh, the whole reason for me getting this instead of a new one is, one, I hate... I hate Chinese products, and I didn't like all the plastic garbage. One of those things, like, you go buy and it breaks in five years with minimal use. Uh, I'll show you the serial number, um, which I believe it was made in 1946, so... Well, now it would be, like, 73 years old, and it still works. Now, uh, you notice the number there. Let's see if I can take this off. Actually, I'm not going to bother, because I don't really want to take the belt off for this. Uh, the number indicates the height. There's three adjustable heights on this. Uh, I just keep it set on the number two. So it does have an adjustable height. You can just see the brush sticking up through there. It's got this little door on the front to get to the belt. Just a little simple access. There's your belt. I believe you can still buy belts for this too. I don't know if I can still buy brush rolls or not. But there was also an attachment kit for this, which I don't know if you can still buy it or not. They might still make it. Uh, it would be sold as Dirt Devil now. But you, what you would do is you'd pop this belt off, and you'd put the hose in, and it would slide all the way back into this back plate. Essentially just bypassing the brush roll. Now that fan is cast aluminum. So it's... All metal. This is something else that I like. Come on, get on there. Let me pop the bag off. It's just a simple twist it. If I can do it with one hand. Not so much, no. That just twists off. Uh, there is insertable bags for this, and I did use one at one point, but it doesn't fit the greatest. I don't know if the 157 was intended to have throwaway paper bags in it. Um, what you're supposed to do is put the bag in, and there's, it's got this felt seal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think that the bags are add too much height to this because when I put them on, I can't twist the I can't actually twist this whole bag assembly on. I have to put one notch in and then force the other one down in to make it lock. And all that does over time is just bend these little tabs. I still have two reusable bags for it, but I don't think I'm gonna use them for this. And I think the previous owner that had this 
and however many previous owners this has had, I have no idea. I don't think anybody's ever used reusable bags in this. Stuff to add to the... Oh yeah, I got some um, sawdust here. I'll, after I go over the rest of this, I'll show you that. Show you the back of this. Okay, I don't know how this is going to show up because it is dirty. A little bit. Oh, this might show up good. You can see it's a model 157. The serial number does end with a 46. I don't know if serial numbers ever indicated date codes on 157s, but if it did, then this is definitely a, 40, a 1946, which would make sense because of the time period that these 157s were made. 110 volts AC or DC. And I'll show you the plug. It's not a polarity sensitive plug. And it uses 175 watts. And this, it does have an oil port on top. And that's the other oil port. That's the other reason I bought this, is it's user serviceable. Which is something else that I wanted. And then on the side here, you can change the brushes if they need to. I never checked the brushes in this to see what condition they're in. I just, when I got this, the brush was in pretty decent shape. And I, I don't know if this is the original brush roll or not. Figure if the brush was that good, it probably wasn't used a whole lot, if it's original. And it, it does actually work. I've been using this for about a year. I just oil it every so often and never given me problems. Let me uh, throw this bag back on and I'll show you the plug. Yeah, I knew how this plugged in. Uh, it has, I believe, a 16 foot power cord. And I believe this is also the um, original power cord, too. There you go. Come on, you can focus on that. There you go. I think it's not polarity sensitive. Yes, I'm in the basement. And for anyone wondering, this is a 2017. Here, and I'll show you. This little carpet wasn't the greatest, but on here I knew it would pick up all the sawdust. I still see some left over, but I'm not overly concerned with that. These get washed once a month, so I know it'll come out there if it if I did miss any. It also, I don't know if you noticed, but it has so much suction that it actually was picking up the carpet. These things were advertised to be as powerful as the uprights, which I believe it. I think it definitely has plenty of power to it. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, the 157, as far as I know, is the first hand vac to actually have, first hand vac ever to have a revolving brush roll. So this is 73 years old and still working great. American made piece of history here. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.